Welcome back to a new episode of the College Years Let's Play! I'm Sasha, welcome to my space! <laughs> okay, y'all know, but in all seriousness, we're looking at Diana right now, but you will have like a flashback moment of um, the episode because right now, the other part of the episode you're gonna watch right now is like basically continuing when Zayvon went to do his exam, blah blah blah, you know what I'm saying, right? So when you see this part of the photo again though, it's gonna be after after the fact of that filming and you'll probably see me telling you, you know what I'm saying, you're at the current timeline of where the intro was, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, let's get into the gameplay. Zayvon's getting out of class almost and then after that I'm just gonna have him study at the Darby's Den right now and then I'm just, one second, uh, Camden seems to have gotten a decent grade. All right, y'all. I'm s I feel bad, but like I think what I'm gonna do is next term I'm gonna have them sit as turn off household members and just control them sometimes, you know. Oh, Miss Dominique, I was trying to get some food, but you know what? You're gonna be on your break. I totally respect that. Um, I'm gonna cheat his stinging a little bit, but yeah, let's go ahead and study for expansion of rights right here. <laughs> Diana is in her next class already. Wow. Zayvon, when's your next class, dear? In four hours? Alright, so I'm gonna have him study and I'm gonna fast forward time, y'all. And we're just gonna follow him to the class. N no way, y'all. I was minding my business. And Justin just messaged Zayvon and goes, Zayvon, it appears that Toya Pickering already has someone special. That would have been good to know. Well, you told me you were all happy with her. How? Why are you getting mad at me, bro? We gonna meet up at soccer and talk about this because no, no, that's not my fault that you and Toya have something going on and that all of a sudden now she picked Aiden over you. That's not that's not a me problem. That's a you and Toya problem. Okay, you asked me if you should shoot your shot and I said go for it. But don't get mad at me, okay? Get mad at Aiden or something. Get mad at Toya. Like what? Leave me alone. <laughs> I have exams. No, you did not put that book in there. The, the book that I paid money with. Help. This dude is... Oh, he's so annoying. <laughs> Study for expansion. Okay. We're, we're not leaving until you get that studious mood lit again. I mean, he has it, but... <laughs> still. I do want him to kind of work on debating. I mean, if he's still he, if he's here. But, like, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, wow, Diana handed in her homework confidently. Okay, you know what? She's done her term. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to bring Diana here. Uh, Since Diana felt confident, she already handed in his exam. I do feel like it's a little messy, but she's just going to tell him some questions she got on her test, right? Uh, listen, I don't know if they could talk about exam, but let's do E-X-A-M. Is there anything about like I talk about? Okay, y'all, we're just going to have her talk about the exams like, oh, you know, the multiple choice Scantron exam I just did. You know, it was a lot. Of, I noticed I was checking up a lot of A's and stuff, but, you know, and I've handed I felt very confident on the exam. I'm not trying to say it's a cheating, but I'm just saying like a lot of the answers were A. I don't know if the teacher's going to do that for you. Oh, Eve's trying to join the conversation. Hey, Eve, where are you at? Oh, there's Eve. Oh, no, Miss Nikki walked away. Check girl. Oh, I saw something smelling in the bathroom today. It was really nasty. And she's like, girl, don't tell me all the details. She's like, girl, but I had finals today. How's your finals? She's like, my finals were good. I was like, oh, I'm happy for you. Oh. <laughs> One thing about Zayvon, he's going to be sitting on the floor in front of the school and just study or do his homework. It's always like this. I love that for him though. It's a unique hmm. quirk to have, you know? I'm a, I, I respect the quirk, you know? <laughs> I do. I'm really excited. Oh my God. I'm really proud of him. Third year is almost done. Like I said, I'm going to take a break in between fourth year because I don't want my LP to end already. Like, I just feel like the mess was starting. <laughs> yeah. Zayvon, now it's your turn. Woo! <laughs> the final class of the term. <sighs> She got a C on this class, Burnett. Oh, he got an F in a class. No, his term GPA is a C plus and now it's like a B plus. Oh, wow. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. That's Diana Dale for you. Oh, Zayman. A plus. No, we're not going to sign up for yet. Just I'm going to give them a few days off. Kumbira. He's working on his debating skill. Oh, he's doing good. Oh my god, her brother is like, hey, like, let's go to go back home to San Maishuno. You know what? Let's go actually back home to San Maishuno. Alright, so Diana's gonna go knock on the door. I think Rita should be Rita lives here, yeah. 
So she, they're neighbors with Rita. This apartment was made by my friend Amanda. And it's a really cute apartment, y'all. Look at this. Like, Amanda went off. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. This is a nice entryway. Lo oh, I love it. All right, then. The, the Oh, Zachary. <laughs> Zachariah. There's her father, y'all. Oh, Lord. I don't think I gave him a category outfit for here. But this is where Diana's room was when she was younger. And then... um. This is her brother's bed, Lawrence, and then and this is her sister's, Corey's bed. This is where her parents sleep, and there's a baby in the house somewhere, I believe. I don't know where the baby is, but yeah. I didn't really decorate their home yet, but like, I mean, you know, the sense of like adding a baby stuff for the baby, and you know, because the baby's going to age up to an infant, but I'm going to have to steady seat the Sims here, though, because I want her family to sit together yeah so here is her um, um, this is her family look so this is diana this is lawrence and then their younger sister uh, Corey. so i would say that there is like a year or two somewhat of an age difference like between diana and lawrence i'll say that like i feel like diana is older in a sense so i don't know but i think diana is older than lawrence by a year and this is their younger sibling rochelle so i'm thinking though that uh they do have a younger baby yeah yes so one thing i want y'all to note is that her father is basically like peter guns if you ever watch love and hip-hop like he had to like he was in a love triangle with two girls and so he was married to lavina okay and she is the mayor of henford on bagley and he left his wife emery for her during high school years and then after that after high school or maybe i don't know when but he decided to divorce her out of nowhere and go back to his wife and marry her and now they live in this like place together and yeah it's weird but she ended up marrying the more stones family i don't know if you know this family but an early rogers family there was this family that was like a celebrity family like their parents were like you know think of like days of our lives type of actors they were on a big soap opera just a well-known couple that fell in love got together and this is their son so she ended up marrying this guy and now they have a kid together she also has um a half diana diana has a half sibling with them i don't know if she ended up having yes yeah, so see look she has two kids so this kid actually should be an infant turning into a toddler i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then this other kid also yeah yeah so there's quite a bit of that there with the families. All right, so here is Diana's family, family, the Regina. Dale family. This is so Come cute. In. What's going on between y'all? Oh, oh, see, look. Oh. You know, I feel like she's probably so insecure. Like her man, you know, left her. Then then they're back together. She doesn't know how long that could be. Maybe he might turn his head somewhere. You know. Diana was trying to go into her old room though. That's cute, but let's go ahead and actually have her go to her old room, maybe like for nostalgia, just have her sit down and like she used to watch TV here and just chill here. Maybe Corey stays in her room sometimes or something, you know, like so cute. Aww, yeah, look at her high school days and stuff that she used to collect info. Aww, let's have her just like look at, um, let's have her check herself out in the mirror. Just look at herself like she remembers she used to wear her cheerleading outfit. And just used to look at herself in the mirror. Oh, like, oh my god. Wow. Mm -hmm. It feels like a different woman here. You know? What? Ricky still <laughs> Ricky's y'all saw Ricky? Mirror mirror on the wall. She says she looks very attractive to Sims. Oh, I love the confidence. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and have her apply nail polish on herself just for old time's sake from when she was younger. The type of stuff she used to do in her room. And then after that in my mind they're gonna go to the restaurant together as a family and i'm gonna switch over to zaven because he's probably gonna be done with his soccer stuff but yeah let's have her just apply her nail polish so yeah she's now putting on some nail polish on her hand this is a mod by mercury foam oh it's so cute the parents are still sitting here probably like the kids didn't even really hang out with us sorry but yeah they're gonna go oh look look at diana she's looking at her nails she's like look at these nails cute yeah. i don't know about you why don't i have her work out i mean you know what she and after that her and her brother could work out in the gym it's just you know remember he was telling her he does all these pull-ups and stuff so let's have him do that dad wants to sleep soon they're probably like when are we gonna go to the restaurant we had res we have reservations for 9 p.m and they're like oh look we want to work out 
For some reason, when I tell a sim to work out, why are they trying to apply facial cleanser? He's like, I don't know, I did pretty decent in school this term. She's like, well, you know, I've been acing it. Goes, work out is more than physical. It is power, self-love, and therapy. You don't grow when you're comfortable. Okay. I love that they have their own workout room, though. Like, damn, must be nice. I just don't want to sit around all day and be bored, though. Guess it's better to go out. You know, I feel like a part of Diana maybe also felt like she wanted to bring her, you know, Zaven over to meet her family. And I guess it's not that time yet, you know. So now I'm going to just switch over to Zaven instead. All right. So now we're here, y'all. And you're, you remember the intro, how it looked like. And now, yeah, now you're actually at this right timeline. So Diana Dale came back from, you know, San Mishuno. Her dad got her, let's just say, like a car service and had her make sure that she's home. And he's like, call me literally when you arrive. You know, no ifs, ands, or buts. <laughs> so her and Lawrence arrive to their dorms, you know, respectively. They don't live together, if you remember. Diana's just telling her father, hey, dad, I'm back home. Everything's good. You do not have to worry. Yeah, Lawrence went back home. Yeah. The car dropped him off first. He's like, okay, okay, that's good to hear. So, you know, once she's done her call, he's probably not ta saying, okay, good night, blah, 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 you know, sweet dreams and stuff. So let's go and have her close that phone. And she's like, thank you, dad. La da da da. Oop. She's thinking, why is everybody, why is the house quiet? Where's everybody? And like, literally, everybody's asleep. Like, what's going on? Let's go check the top floor. What's going on here? Zaven's asleep. And even Camden is asleep. So let's have her actually just go upstairs. She's like, this house is so quiet. It's 12.58. I came back early. You know, she's here. She's all like, what's going on? Why is it so quiet? Like, everybody, did y'all party? What happened while I was away? Why y'all sleeping so early? She's going to wake up Zaven. Well, but Zaven. Next I'm sorry, I'm gonna wake you up. And he's like, oh, it's 1 14 a.m. <laughs> but you know what? I'm energetic because I'm naturally energetic and I'm living off energy drinks. Oh my god, he had a wild dream of woohooing. Uh, maybe Diana is gonna give him that dream come true. Oh, girl, <laughs> that face though. Okay. So I'm not going to lie to y'all. While Diana was in her car, she did talk to her brother Lawrence about the whole Zayman thing. And I don't know why, but Lawrence was giving therapist. Okay. Like literally when he was talking to her, it made her think of everything and put it in perspective. But I'm going to be keeping it all the way real, y'all. So I was kind of like watching back high school years just to like understand Zayman's past a little bit. And, and Diana, if you don't know, this is a spinoff of high school years. All this to say is that I remember... And I know why Diana feels how she feels. I think that's kind of what made me. Because when she was doing that little stomp in here, y'all remember throwing a whole damn tantrum, which was not, you know, the best thing. You know, she's going to be like, Zayvon, can you sit down? I want to talk to you. And he's just thinking, okay, cool. Let's talk. What's what's up? So she's going to go ahead and sit next to him. And she's just going to tell him the truth after talking to her brother. He's thinking, oh, I'm ready to run, y'all. Zayvon is always hyper. <laughs> So I'm going to have her, you know, complain and just tell him about what's going on, what's how she's feeling. So let's just, just choose one. <sighs> it's like, what's up, Diana? So she's going to talk to him the truth. She's going to say, Zayvan, I just want to be all the way real with you. I'm so sorry to say it like this, but Damsel. she's going to like, I don't know if you feel I've been distant, but I've been feeling distant from you lately. And I just think that it's a part of it stems from when I was in high school and always feeling like I'm second place to the girls you were dating whether it was araya and then when it was i forgot the other girl's name the girl who was the rapper was her name sammy or something or samantha yes yeah, sammy sammy sloan yeah remember when he was dating sammy so even then she just felt like she was always like you know what i'm saying second place to these girls and then now you know when he was talking to lorena chow or even abby Cornette, she just feels like it reminds her of that time when any other girl was around. It felt like, you know, they would capture Zayvon's attention more in that. She was maybe more boring than them, you know? And she just feels like, I felt like, I feel that way, you know? Nahil said, let it all out. Y'all, y'all, y'all see that, right? It goes, Zayvon in sorry Zaven actually enjoyed hearing diana vent at all her frustrations just now complaining can be healing could it be that Zaven likes complaints y'all 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 let me screenshot that i don't know if i'll even post it but still i had to screenshot it. i love that this 
literally like at 1 14 a.m she wakes him up from you know his sleep and she's all like yeah you know and she vents and he says i hear you right. yeah he likes it <laughs> i'm done you know so yeah she just in general she's describing how she feels she's just kind of like i felt like she's i was on an island on my own Yana? you know wow, and he's like bro. and i don't want you to feel that way i'm so happy you finally got to talk Octopus. to me about how you feel you know, he's like, but you can't keep yes. stuff like that inside Frida. she's like okay well I guess it's time for me to ask you the question. And he's like, ask away because you probably might be happy to hear the answer. So, or, you know what, what let's do this, right? Have the what are we talk. So I want ask her to on. actually ask him what are we. And <laughs> let's see what Zayman says. Because even though he's a semi-control, I just want to know, does he feel it completely what I see? She's like, so let's keep it real. How do you feel about me? Do you want, do you want to develop into something? He said, I like you a lot. I'm ready to take this next step when you are. Oh, and she's feeling a romantic interaction. Now she's like, wait, let me give you a massage. Because I'm ready. I'm here. It says pleasant conversation, by the way. Oh, my God. I love when the storyline aligns completely, y'all. I was nervous he was going to say, girl, kick rocks. Because <laughs> really, he could just say whatever he wants. And now they're thinking of kissing. Uh huh. I think Diana is going to say, hey, do you want to sleep in my bed tonight? Because if you remember, she's the only sim in this area who has a double bed yeah she's just kind of like we're not chilling here we're not chilling here so oh he's letting her lay oh that's so cute uh, he's like you can lay lay on my lap he's like look i like you you know you're my number one i, I mean if i felt any way about these other girls you know i would have said it but i'm not you know and do you want do you want to officially like claim each other i think i have two default overrides for the male top so i need to look for the other one i think it's from a sims dump i downloaded recently because i could tell from how his arm looks like but anyway let me mind my Rango, business yeah. <laughs> so he's just saying okay you feel good diana are you feeling confident and she's like i feel confident but i guess we just have to solidify it um since she put herself out there and had the what are we talk let's actually ask um diana to be girlfriend right girl friend what ciao oh wow y'all diana's starting to feel low on the uninterested soulmate i want i don't know what to do y'all because i really want um him to ask to be girlfriend i don't know how to do it for some reason it doesn't show up to be girlfriend yet why so it looks like they're going to woohoo, y'all. They're going to woohoo. Celebrate that they want to go to the next step, even though that's not an interaction for me. <laughs> y'all make that make sense because it's not. But you know what? I'm going to respect it. Diana is so confusing. So it goes, Diana's feeling pretty unflirty lately with all her recent failed social interactions. Embrace the change. Um, Should I? and flirty that's completely 180 from what she is so i'm assuming the woohoo wasn't that great i'm gonna say no only because she's feeling very passionate no maybe first. it wasn't a great woohoo oh, night yeah, for her so but let's go. yeah so i'm just zaven the woohoo was great for zaven though are they gonna cuddle finally at least i don't know if i've ever seen them cuddle maybe once <laughs> but they're so cute uh, sorry, Camden actually has to wake up because he's going to go to work in a bit. But yeah, today's a holiday, unfortunately. I would assume that he's not working, but I'm going to have them enroll in school again very soon. But it's going to be their last semester. So I'm going to meet y'all once, uh, you know, I have to show y'all their planning for the day. Camden already went to work. Love that for him. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and have my Sims do some baking activities and all that other stuff. So tomorrow they're going to go out. I have a whole venue for them that is a Winterfest lot, which is so fun. And I cannot wait to see them go out together. But yeah, it's officially Winterfest Eve. So I'll see y'all later today and, you know, when they're having their little fun time and stuff. All right, y'all. So... Diana made sugar cookies, okay? It's 12.39 p.m. on a Tuesday, Winterfest Eve. All this to say is Diana is talking to Khaled and they, you know, he flirted with her. He said, you look good. You look great baking, blah, blah, blah. And everything was all cute and dandy. But I'm gonna show y'all a little like flashback moment where when it happened, Paxton, who is their maid, who's actually working right now, got really mad at Diana. Like, what? She only flirted with you one night, sir. I didn't know what you thought. But anyway, yeah. Now there's a pink bar. For some reason, I had it set up in their Lumpino mod where they're not allowed to flirt. Maybe I might have deleted my settings for the mod Good or something. Luck, but yeah. 
stuff is kind of a mess. Di you know, Zaven, what is he thinking? He's thinking of dancing and having fun. Burnett is thinking of, you know what, just using the bathroom. So I don't know if he's gonna if they're gonna flirt again or not, but they were just sitting here having some mm -hmm. sugar cookies, chatting it up and blah blah blah. He's thinking of having his first kiss with Diana. And I don't know why, but Diana seems like she's really feeling him, but not in a way like fully romantic. Because I think that for her, she kind of likes that she's feeling, I don't know, like he kind of, like he Nick respects flu? her or something, you know? Karina. She likes that she, Karina you know, flim. he's giving her attention, but girl, he gives so many Karina girls attention. So if you're thinking about being second Kudos. place to anybody, he's going to treat you like, I don't know. But then again, I feel like he kind of likes her the most because it's a proximity thing. I feel like for him, like when he was around, you know, Shanice and the other girls, it was they were first place. You know, have you ever heard of our premium? Whatever, let's go. Snow chef, Weezak, Hobina, popular. So she's just talking to him. She's just saying, yeah, you know, me and Zayvon, our relationship is gonna get better. Hopefully, you know, it's gonna get, you know on the way up and he's all like do you really want that you know uh the other girls i feel like he's probably planting some bugs to her you know so he's just gonna be like uh -huh. you're so great but I, you, you deserve a man that is gonna do so great for you and now this is kind of like snake behavior because they're best friends you know like what do you mean you deserve a girl that's better and she's just kind of like you know she's xing it out like yeah that's cool but i like him i guess you know what she's just gonna ask him to be friends she doesn't want it to be messy between them so i'm gonna go ahead and have that ask to just be friends no be, yeah she's no just be. gonna tell him i don't want anything Kimba. like that i think you might have Those misunderstood are. our situation i want to have pleasant conversations not like something that could get steamy and stuff i just am into a sim already i may be confused but i don't want to complicate it for myself anymore she's feeling more confident she did that now okay if he hears about Kalidos talking about him any kind of way, I don't know. I don't know if their friendship would, I'm not going to say completely fizzle out, but, you know, he fought with Andre for much less. Well, see, these two are talking. <laughs> I always feel like this guy's scared of Khaled. Like, he has not tried to autonomously flirt with, um, you know, Burnett ever since he saw that Camden can swing and stuff. And he was just kind of like, you know what, I'm going to bind my business. <laughs> Like, he has not flirted with Burnett. Oh, boy, Look at Burnett. Awesome. Burnett's always the one who's going to try to, you know, because she's, I feel like, naturally a flirty sim. Amazing. But, yeah. Look at him just checking her out. Zayvon's thinking about going to his bro's room, doing some workouts. Oh, I feel so bad for him. He's thinking he could get, you know, her jealous and stuff. <laughs> Look at Camden. Like, Camden is so unbothered. Why, though? I don't understand. Like, fight fight for her, Burnett. <laughs> <laughs> he said, uh, Sasha, I'm not trying to get this house any more messy than it already is. Yo, he's thinking of flirting with her now. Oh, mistletoe. He said it's the holiday. Aw. Look at her. Yeah, I don't think she's feeling any jealousy. She's feeling uncomfortable being around him. But it, you know, it does say from being a crush. But I do feel like for her, it's just genuinely she feels uncomfortable about the whole situation. So what I think I'm going to have is he's sick. Lord have mercy. But let's go ahead and have everybody decorate. I know that um, Sonia is at work. But let's go ahead and do a red and gold theme. I mean, I don't know how that's going to look. But, oh, you know what? Let's have Paxton go decorate the tree with them you know i think she's definitely gonna ask paxton to be friends because paxton's reaction was just doing the absolute most there you go everybody decorating the tree y'all it is winterfest eve we're trying to get the everything perfect you know so let's go ahead and actually have the house oh wait this is the house decor is already up what is the decor i'm gonna take it down because what is it <laughs> like for real uh take down and let's go ahead and select through. So far, the decor is coming out nicely. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, Mava is calling. We've been thinking of trying for a baby. Are you serious, Mom? No, don't take me. Mom, you literally have a toddler. You're good. You're just, you miss me. And I'll be back home one of these days. You know, I feel like, because she's like, Mom, you're, you know, my baby boy, you're not here for the holidays. And if you're not here, might as well have another baby. I feel like that's what Shakira's doing. He's like, Mom, no more babies. Okay. <laughs> 
Y'all, okay, so let me spill the tea. Remember last episode, Toya, aka Mava, I'm gonna show y'all her photo right away so y'all can remember who she is. She used to be part of the dorm, but she moved away, um, and she lives in North, another dorm. I think she actually lives in Aiden's dorm, but if you remember previously, I guess Justin and her had like a little like tension between them. All this to say is that Justin wanted to shoot his shot. And Justin couldn't shoot his shot. And now it looks like he did and he didn't miss. Even though it said that he was also into her. So I need to invite both guys over. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I am. I was thinking not to be messy, but I'm going to invite him over because that's my bro. Invite to current law. And Zayvon's going to invite Justin. And let's have him, you know, talk. And because <laughs> I... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Listen, okay. Uh, Justin invites a current lot. I'm trying to have both guys on the lot, and I'm going to show y'all who Toya is. Diana, I thought you talked all your frustrations out. Having a bad time. Her clothes are feel wet. David's like, bro, what's going on? Whoa. Russia. The Roy. He's going to try to. Oh so no, flirtation. Discuss. Oh wait, he's here already? Help. Now you summoned him in front of me. So, you know what? I'm gonna have him congratulate him on his new relationship. Say, I heard you and Mava, like, really? Yes, you know, Toya's a good girl. I mean, I really don't know her, but, like, from what I heard, I mean, I don't hear anything up. So, he's just gonna give his bro a hug. Like, congrats, Source I'm so proud of you. Do you think I should get into a relationship kind of thing, you know? So, let's go ahead and see him and Toya. So, yeah, let's look at his romantic relationships. He had a, he had a thing with Eve, even? He finds her basic looking, but um, he finds... How are you in love with her? I'm going to cheat their relationship to like 45 and like maybe 35. Because I feel like that's kind of where they're at. Like he shot his, he shoot his shot. Wait, 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 wait. He had a thing with Brunette. Did he now? Damn, Brunette. Brunette got her like that. She got all these dudes in her back pocket so yeah it seems like him and toya didn't develop a romantic anything i guess he got scared you know what i'm saying when yeah i think he got scared oh poor justin but you know what i'm a cheetah because i feel like he he definitely felt like he shoot his shot with her so he should be having something so let's go ahead and have toya come to the lot because i need mess damn zayvon said how do you feel you know because she threw a temper tantrum she goes this relationship is quite dull i don't think we'll last much longer he is gagging i'm trying to cause mess and hear my quote-unquote unproblematic faves are everything and trouble Ebony Darfa. Damn. No, Sneeb. Hispa. Crystal's asking, how's she she doing? Like, hey girl, ha hope you're well. Happy holidays. And you know, she's like, thanks. Someone breath stinks so bad it's bothering Diana. And I don't know who, because damn. So Toya's coming to the lot right now. Um, you know, her mans are here, so Oh my god, he's thinking of talking to Aiden. Like, I heard you talking about Toya. What's up about Toya? What do you mean you know Toya? Huh? Oh, wait, wait a goddamn minute. <laughs> Plot twist I never expected. So basically, you know, he was kind of like, hey, what's up with you and Toya? And he's like, wait, what, what, what should there be of? You're a good looking guy. You don't got to worry about nothing. And he's like, where are you flirting with me, chill? And, you know, Toya was like, wait, what the hell? Y'all were supposed to fight over me? <laughs> Help. I'm so done. Justin, though, doesn't find him any attractiveness. But he's thinking, like, you know, the anti-crush. Like, I don't find it, like, funny. I like Toya. If you're not going to take Toya seriously, I will. Like, please let me know kind of thing. So I think he's going to give her a kiss. He's going to be like, look, you're good. I like you. If Aiden's going to take you seriously, because how's he going to flirt with you? You know, I like you. You know, what, what do you think, Aiden? What do you think? Oh. Oh, okay. He, he, he got his final marks. Mm, decent. A little decent. Oh, God. Actually, I don't want to register you to school. Yeah. That, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to enroll him yet. Oh, yo, yo. Russ can look Aiden is over it. He's kind of like, you know what? There are so many fish in the sea, literally. What the fudge? Did y'all see that? 
that weird pause glitch happened right now oh chill that scared me okay i'm gonna have to do ask to just be friends because he don't he don't care he don't care he's unbothered i mean he's kind of mad but like at the same time he's kind of like you ain't worth the stress i promise you that goodbye y'all can have each other goodbye i thought i could be in love with you i was telling my bro that but you know what if you think you could be talking Laura. to other guys, that's it. We good. We good on that. That's what I feel like he said. Oh, so let's let them have their moment and, you know, chat Smurfs. together. I'm going to stop controlling them. And you know what? Lar oh, Naba Quink. Oh, she's talking about her child. She misses her little baby. Oh, damn. Well, at least things are going friendly between them, you know? No romance, but that's okay. Oh, I promise you, I, I never called that. I never called that sim over. Do you think he was trying to track down Aiden? Like, I know you're trying to flirt with these other girls. I'm your number one. My jaw's on the floor. Nah, 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 nah. <gasps> What is going on? What is going on here? Sorry, I was just trying to see what's going on. Brynette is the one who's feeling more about Callie than he feels about her. Ooh. But what's going on here, y'all? Wait a minute. Did he, you're, not, you're not coming into the house? What's tea? No, I'm saying, hey, you here for just to chill with the Sims here or something? You know, I'm from Willow Creek. And my man's in there. I'm just trying to check on him. <laughs> I promise I did not call him because what the hell? Chill. I was literally, I just said, what's up Come with Zachary Leon? All of a sudden, he knocking on my door. What the hell is that? Gosh. Is my, is, am I recording this? Because that, I can't even make that up. Oh, okay. Oh, I am. Oh, she's making a snow pal. Help her. Even though she's saying the relationship going to be stale. You're one step close to being asked just to be friends. I could promise you that, Diana. Yeah, All I those temper see. tantrums and stuff. Woo, chow. Zaven's gonna help her make the snow pal and everybody else could do what they want. Is Sonia okay? I need to check on her. Oh, she checking the blogs. She wanna have fun. Just into <laughs> taking a liking to Camden. Aw, they're chatting. They haven't finished decorating the tree. I guess they're gonna make it into an event. Like, bit by bit, decorating the tree. Are you kidding me? First of all, Aiden is so naturally flirty. It's at this point, if he says flirty introduction, I I wouldn't even take it seriously. Yikes. He thinks Diana ain't that girl. He said she ain't um, She didn't even say nothing. She just accepted it and went about her day. Uh, Zaven, continue building the snow pal, please. And Diana, can you continue building the snow pal? I could not believe she just accepted that man's flirty introduction. <laughs> like... <laughs> She finds him to be responsible and neutral chemistry. Mm, whatever. Is Aiden trying to help them out? Please. Now I'm checking her out. Bro. Make it slick. Help. You just ran after her just to check her out. I saw that. Oh, I bet you he's going to flirt with Burnett. But one thing is, they're both the final boss. <laughs> All right, you know what? Let's me follow them. Let me follow them. I'm sorry. One second. Knowing them? Oh, well, nothing happened. Oh, well. Alfonso. Let's go. This is cute. Let's go have him make snow angels, too. She's thinking of romance. She's feeling very flirty. So cute. Aw. Justin got the energetic lifestyle who's shocked. Oh, they're so cute. Happy holidays from Zaven and Diana. No, but literally, what do I do with them? Because they're such a mess. Like, there's... N I feel like things are going to calm down if they officially just ask to be boyfriend. Like, that's the only thing that's left. But, like, you tell me where to find that interaction today. Because I'm not finding it anywhere. Y'all, for some reason, I don't see that Zaven pops up as a boyfriend. So, I'm going to go ahead and use MCC. Because, again, I don't know why. I They literally said they wanted to, even though they feel... <gasps> Zaven's single and loving it lifestyle is at risk because now he's in a relationship. What? Oh, I forgot he even had that. Well, now they're boyfriend and girlfriend. Are things going to calm down between them? We'll see. Tomorrow's the actual Winterfest day. So come closer. She's like, oh. 
Steven, I'm sorry for being confusing. <laughs> He's like, I don't <laughs> want you to do wolf. these temper tantrums and stuff. Come on. I thought we talked about it. She's like, I guess I have some resentment. I might have to start going to therapy or something. He's like, well, I'm going to be there for you. But all you just have to do is be honest. This whole, this relationship is quite dull. What relationship? We just became boyfriend and girlfriend right now. After making some snow angels, a snow pal, and some slow dancing at the, in the night under the stars. And she's like, oh, Zayvon, you're so romantic Aww. Uh, huh. wait a minute <laughs> Aww. they don't even know this. tomorrow where they're going it's gonna be so much more fun Aww. they're so cute uh, <laughs> Lump. love it for y'all I uh, paint a chore but Wow. Uh, uh -huh. like, it's getting cold. We might have to go bundle up. It's like, yep, and we got a tree to finish. She's like, do you think we're going to celebrate more Winterfest? She's like, I don't know about all of that. I mean, we just started dating. He's like, come on. Don't say all of that. I see I see a lifetime with you. She's like, you do? I don't I see it too. He's like, well, then why are you being, why are you being shy about it? Nobody's here. Nobody's watching us. You could you could let your guard down, Diana. You could let your guard down. I promise. I won't break your heart. Aww. Well, it looks like they she's letting her guard down a bit. <laughs> He's so strong. Of course. All that working out. Wait a minute. I see you smoking, Justin. What's going on in the house? Oh, wow. She's dancing with her towel. <laughs> of course, Sonia. Wait, let's see what's the tea with these Sims. Hopefully, everything is okay. Literally, the rela the the love bar won't move between them. He is so scary. Uh, like Khaled ain't even at work. Go and grab the girl and give her a kiss. Oh, Shake the table. The but you know, no, you know, Dangwell, he ain't doing that. Aww. They're so cute. Uh, Khaled's back from work. Ooh. Not him seeing the stuff. Let's act like he can't see, okay? <laughs> oh my god, he's so sick. This whole seeing them makes him sick. He's thinking, oh my god, how did he get such a girl like that? I should have flirted with Diana in school. I didn't know she was all that. He's feeling sick to his stomach seeing Zaven so happy. I did not know there was envy in this house. Y'all, I realize this video is getting a little longer than I anticipated. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to end the episode right here. So part two will be Winterfest Day, pretty much. And a little bit of the ending of Winterfest Eve. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all for the next episode. My name is Sasha and I wish y'all a lovely, lovely day. Take care.